Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show a demo on date functions. So these are some sample entry questions which is very helpful for the candidate who are attending for uh, SQL developer portion or a data analyst portion. So without wasting the time, let's jump into the demo and look into the questions for now. First question is how to get the age with the table DOB. Yes. So I have one table called DM, DM customer which is having the customer details having first name, last name along with the date of birth in the email account. We don't require uh, all fields. We, we require only <coughs> first name, birth date. So to calculate age of any em employee or any customer, here we have only one source that is nothing but birth. By using birth date, we need to calculate the age of that person. So how can we calculate? There is one fun function called in uh, here, date dip function. As its name implies, it will compare the date of the two dates. So here, birth date means we want to know the age of the person. So we want year. Year with comparing the birth date and get date. Get date means today's date. And age. So date dip function takes three parameters. One is year, month, day, whatever it may be. But in, in this case, we want year. Year, we want a number of years to compare with the birth date of that person and get date. Get it to 2022 in this. If you run this code, you get the age of the person. This is how you need to get the age. So, next one is how to get the last day of the month. So, since 2012 onwards, SQL Server by default, a new function add or every release it will add some functions and some features. In 2021, will add some function, date function that is called Evo month. Evo month means a end of the month. We will ask two parameters for one parameter. So if you run this query, today is September. Sorry, this month is September month. If you run this query, you will get the end of the month 30th. This is how you need to get the answer for September. So last day of the next month, so we add one for the existing code on the see here October 30. So what this one indicates it indicates the adding of the one month. So if you want the last day of the previous month mail, you, you will add minus one. So you will get the August 30. Today is September month. Now it is we are in September month. Previous month last day means end of the month by adding the minus one. This is how you know to calculate the first day and last day of the month next month. And previous so next three questions is how um, how to get the first day of the current month we have one one more function called date from parts date from parts that means it will take year both year day year month and day year of get date comma comma month of get date You run this query. First day of the month, that is, we are in, uh, we are in September month. First day of the month is uh, September first. So I am using here the date from parts. It will take year of get date, month of get get date, and one one means a day. This is how we you know to get the first day of this month. So next question is first day of the previous month. First day of the previous month. So here we need to calculate first day of the previous month. So August first. So what I did here in month place, I will uh, uh, I will subtract one by one. Year of get date is same. Month of get date also same. After month of get date, I will subtract minus one. Minus one means it will be take August month. So if we add two here, you will get the August second date. See, then this last digit is purely related to day. Is first day, second day, or third day, tenth day like that. First day of previous month means we need to add minus one after month of get date. So first day of the last question is first day of the next month. That is October first. Just add the plus first day of next month. 
by adding uh, plus one you need to get the october 1st of 2020 date for date from parts is very useful to extract the first day or last the first day or the next day of the month any month if you want to 10th day of next month you just put the 10th year october 10th if you want 22nd of the next month 22nd of the um, November month it add number two. so date from parts is very useful date function it will take two operator three operators year month and day if you want to get the year year of get date month of get date after month of get date you, you need to add the dates of the dates state you want this is how you need to get the answers for this question so very simple question hope this video is helpful for all thank you for watching the video thank you very much